So you remember the other day we read Edward the emu, and now we have Edwina the emu. Do you remember how at the end of Edward the emu we saw Edwina come in, right? She had been, she, uh, they brought her in to replace Edward when he disappeared and was playing in all the other animals' places, okay? And so now we're reading Edwina the emu, um, written by Sheena Knowles and Rod Clement. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the illustrations are by Rod Clement. She is Edwina the Emu. I don't remember um, a boy. You don't remember Edward the Emu? We had, I'll show you to you in just a minute, Jimmy. We had a whole good three loud. Maybe you were gone that day, but I don't think so. Edwina the Emu. Remember, he went into all the other enclosures and pretended to be those animals because he was bored at the zoo and he thought the uh, people liked the other animals until some, more than him until somebody, when he was in one of those animal cages, said, you know what the part, the best one is, is they emus, okay? All right, so there once were two emus who lived in a zoo. One was Edwina and Edward was two. They played every day. There was never a fight, and they cuddled up close to keep warm every night. As they sat there one day, entwining their legs, Edwina announced she laid ten little eggs. Although, are emus eggs actually very little? Remember, we, we watched those videos on emus, and we learned about them. Their, their eggs are pretty big, actually. I think not. So I'm not quite sure that an emu could lay 10 eggs. Um, what, Troy? I did not. Okay. Shh. I cannot hear you, Troy. They're what? They're dating? Like a wife and a husband, okay. Okay. Eek! Shouted Edward. He seemed to be choking. Ten little emus? You've got to be joking. I'm not, said Edwina, but don't get depressed. I'll look for a job. You stay on the nest. Okay. So you know a lot of times it's the um, the girl who stays on the nest. In this case. She's kind of like um, talking about like when, when moms decide to go to work and the dads stay home with the kids. That's kind of how she's saying, no, no, don't get depressed. I will look for a job and you stay on the nest. <laughs> An ad in the paper said, dance the ballet. If you've got the legs, we're willing to pay. Great, said Edwina. That would be fine. I'll hop on a bus and I'll be there at nine. The director called out for the next ballerina and onto the stage stepped the lovely Edwina. She whirled and she waltzed, she twirled and she leapt, then she twisted her legs in a grand pirouette.
All right, put a bubble in your mouth, please. We're going to continue. We're going to continue. Yeet! The man shouted, you've got to be joking. An emu dance ballet? Or I, oh, eek, said the man. I need to reread because I made a mistake. Eek, said the man, shouted the man, who seemed to be choking. An emu dance ballet? You've got to be joking. I'm not, said Edwina, but don't laugh at me. I'll find the right job soon. You'll just wait and see. <laughs> I love his facial expression in there. It's pretty funny. I'll come and show you second graders a couple pages. Ooh. Ooh. Let me try to sneeze on me. No. What do you mean? An ad in the paper said chimney to sweep. Stick your neck out. You can make a heap. I will, said Edwina. Now this will be fun. I'll hop on a bus and I'll be there by one. A chimney sweep is somebody who cleans out chimneys. Has anybody seen Mary Poppins? Do you remember Bert? Any um, Bert in Mary Poppins, and he's always covered in soot. And he's got that funny little broom-looking thing where the the bristles stick straight out, and he pops in and out of chimneys and sings, "Chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim maru." <laughs> Up. On the roof, the wind whistled about. I'm ready, the lady below shouted out. I'll be just a minute, Edwina called back. Then she pushed till she popped through, bristled and black. Our feet are sticking out. Yeek, said the lady. She seemed to be choking. An emu sweep chimneys, you've got to be joking. I'm not, said Edwina, but don't laugh at me. I'll find the right job soon. You'll just wait and see. Now, yeah, like run and show the second graders the pictures. Oops. Okay, so that's our bottom out of the chimney, Louise. If you're quick on your feet, you're sure to be hired. Yes, said Edwina. That's perfect for me. I'll hop on the bus and I'll be there by three. Oh, that's the boy? No. Edwina is the girl. Edwina served tea to a man in a hat. Would you like me to bring you a meal with that? Yes, said the man. I'll have sausages fried with a couple of nice runny eggs on the side. Uh -huh. Eek! Said Edwina. She seemed to be joking. You want to be eggs? You want to eat eggs? You've got to be joking. I'm not, said the man. Eating eggs is the best. Once I ate them, straight from a nest. Uh oh. <gasps> Edwina ran out. She ran into the street. It was true when she said she was quick on her feet. Taxi, she cried. Take me home. Make it fast. 
I know what the right job is uh, for me is at last. What, Louise? Um, just because sometimes when they're shocked, they kind of splutter or kind of, sit, you know, you'll be like, ah, 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 ah. kind of like you're choking or, you know, um, so a lot of times, um, I think that's kind of what it's referring to. It was late when Edwina got back to the nest. You're late, muttered Edward, and I need a rest. You're right, said Edwina. From now on, we share. I'll sit on the nest. You pull up a chair. They have, they have so many feet. He just has two feet. I mean, he has so many feet. That's one leg, and that's his other leg behind there, and these are his tiny, useless wings. Remember, emus have wings that they can't use. Why do they have wings? There once were 12 emus who lived at the zoo. One was Edwina, and Edward was two. Then Fluffy and Scruffy and Sniffly Sneeze, and Fatty and Footloose and Knobbly Knees, and Lollipop Legs and Shortening and Squeak, and the last little emu. They called that one. Yeek! <laughs> I don't know if I would let Edwina and Edward name anymore. Little emus, they have some funny ideas of naming. Maybe, like, um, <laughs> and do you guys remember when we look when we watched the videos about emus, how they talked about how baby little emus have stripes when they're chicks, and then as they get bigger, they lose their stripes. So I think that's that's fun that they did a very good job illustrating the book. So that was a green of the emu, which we read after Edward the emu. This one's Edward the emu. This one's a green of the emu. I want to see the zombie.